good afternoon, my little tchotchkes. Uh, I don't know if today will be a talk about the concert or not. Right now I am at a lemon squeeze-a-thon volunteering to help with the lemon squeeze for my wife's work and it's so much fun. I cannot feel my hand it's just from the rotors on those juicers. Uh, whew, tired. I had to at least film an intro. I have not done anything yet today. <laughs> I did get all the concert footage onto the computer and got it started rendering. It should be done now, but I won't be able to do anything with it now because, I mean, that was a pre-render, so I still got the full render to do, so won't be doing any clips of that. Okay, anyway. I'll talk to you in a bit, hopefully. Uh, finally done with the lemon squeezing. Uh, yug. My hand is numb from that. Um, I hope to still get to the story later for the concert, but if I don't, then we'll just do it tomorrow. Uh, even if I do, I won't be able to have any clips because it's going to take forever to render that thing, so I'm going to have to wait and render it after I've rendered this. So, yeah. I don't know. I've played Pokemon Go for a grand total of about a minute today. The rest of the time has been spent wishing I was asleep and squeezing lemons. Not at the same time. Um, I'm running on about three hours of sleep. I'm really tired. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, I don't know. All I know is when we left they were giving away those free Rockstar energy drinks and I was like, hey that's cool. And then when I got home I drank one. That made it real easy to fall asleep. Live and learn. Live and learn. I shall talk to you in a... Okay. The concert story. Or as best as I can tell it. Before we had left, I checked the radar. I saw that there were indeed some storms coming in. Um, by the time we got there, the cloud, yeah, the sky was pretty dark off to the side of us, and it just started to drizzle. Um, we got there about an hour and ten minutes before they were supposed to open the gates. The gates were supposed to open at 5:30. Um, after the first storm passed, it was about 5 o'clock and it was just mostly rain. Um, so people were starting to form a line. We got in line. And the line slowly moved forward, you know, as people started dividing off into the other... Um, separate lines, the separate gates. They hadn't opened them yet, obviously. 5.30 came and went, and people started saying, why aren't the gates open yet? And they said that there was another storm coming and that they were not going to open them until six. Great, so six came and went, and then they started coming out and saying, that they were delaying indefinitely to follow them on Twitter and they would keep us posted there. Um, I looked at the storm and it was 
coming but it seemed to be sliding down and I didn't think it was going to hit us other than some rain um, so that was about the time they came out and said that uh, we should probably go to our cars because it would be safer um, a lot of people follow that advice we did not again because I checked my radar and it didn't look like we we're going to get anything more than rain so we just stuck it out Needless to say, the line got shorter because everybody went back to their cars. Sorry, I dropped my vape. We were now fairly close to the gates. Um, at 6.30, it started raining pretty hard. And that was when Of Mice and Men was supposed to start and that was also when we heard that they had uh, already canceled the Of Mice and Men portion of the show and it was just going to be Marilyn Manson and Slipknot <sighs> as I predicted the storm kind of passed by us and it was just rain so they opened the gates at just a little after seven, I want to say. Um, Marilyn Manson was supposed to go on at 7.30 and be off by 8.30 and then Slipknot was supposed to start at nine. Manson came on. It was still raining, but I mean, you, they were they were fairly good up there on the on the stage and uh, our upgraded seats were right at the edge of the pavilion so we were still getting rained on but putting up with it I was not at so much Anna um, <laughs> that's a story for another time uh, Manson's show was good I mean I enjoyed it a lot he did have some technical troubles here and there I caught one of them on video, which I will probably be posting that portion. Just that, I mean, uh, I will probably share other portions of the show, but I will have to cut the audio in order to avoid the whole YouTube copyright claim thing, and you know, I don't want them to make me take it down. So if I figure if I cut the audio, then it's just the video. You can you can see what was going on at the very least. Anyway, by the time Manson's show ended, he he looked like he was really angry, and he kind of stormed off the stage. Never said goodnight or anything. He just after the last song, they were gone. Um, which was not typical. I've seen Manson a few times, and he usually ended the show by at least saying goodnight or F you or something. I am going to pause this because this is getting a little long and I don't want to have any troubles with the rendering. <sighs> okay, so Manson's show ended. Um, I started, I, I had looked at this radar during Manson's show towards the end of it and noticed that there was another storm coming. Looked like it was a pretty big one, might cause problems. Um, about a half hour after Manson's show ended, they just, no, about 15 to 20 minutes after Manson's show ended, it was supposed to take about a half hour for set changeover. Um, it hit, and it hit hard. It was raining so hard that it was coming into the pavilion. The wind was, so it was blowing the rain into the pavilion. So pretty much nowhere in the pavilion was really safe. It was drier than being on the lawn. Which brings me to the next portion of the story, which was the people on the lawn decided they didn't want to be on the lawn anymore. So they started pushing towards the pavilion. And unfortunately for the security there, there was way more of them than there were security, so the security just kind of let them through. Um, a lot of people stayed on the lawn, but quite a few came off of it because of the rain. 
then the thunder and lightning started and that's when they came on uh, one of the announcer came on the stage and said that uh, they wanted the rest of the people on the lawn to come into the pavilion and find a seat in there because uh, it was too dangerous out on the lawn and the Slipknot show was going to be delayed another 15 minutes. It, uh, it did thunder, it did lightning, it was really nasty. I mean, it was a great light show and for some reason I never really thought to pull out a camera to capture any of it. <laughs> it was surprising. Anyway. Uh, after the, the, the wind died down and they came back out and started uh, cleaning up the stage again, wiping it up and removing the rest of Manson's stuff because they had uh, a giant backdrop that he was he never got to use and they were pulling that away. Um, my brain just went completely blank. Yada ha, yada ho. I will sing until I remember what happened at the show. Oh yes, anyway. <laughs> they finally got the stage all set up. And Slipknot did their intro. Which was an amazing intro. Uh, it was the first time I'd seen Slipknot. I enjoyed it thoroughly. They're, if you're a metal fan and a Slipknot fan, you've really got to see them live because they are awesome. Um, It was, we were damp at one point in time during the PA fireworks, during the rush into the pavilion. Anna and I, I hate these people. I'm gonna pause. Anyway, Anna and I also moved into the pavilion because we were getting even more drenched than we already were. I had on a raincoat, Anna did not. Um, due to a miscommunication between she and I, the, her raincoat got left in the car. Um, before the big storm came, I went out and it was just raining a little bit. I went and searched out the people who were selling ponchos. It took me a while. I finally found one and bought one of their ponchos for $5. Because, you know, no pass outs. If you go out of the gate, you're gone. You can't come back in. forgot that little detail that was just before the Slipknot show so she finally had a poncho but she was already soaked so it was really more like a little sauna for her um, I think the only other notable thing other than Slipknot putting on a great show was uh, on the way out the the rock star people had uh, brought in samples that they were giving away earlier and they were pouring them out of the cans into cups obviously so you didn't have a projectile uh, on the way out they were standing out there and they had barrels full of them with ice on it and they're saying free rockstar energy drinks or people were flocking around it me and Anna managed to jump in and scoop in and grab a couple each um, it, don't, it was a uh, whipped strawberry, that's what it was called. Um, I don't know if you've ever wanted to try Rockstar, that's the one to try. Very good, 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 good. Didn't taste like strawberry, but it was still very good. That is a concert story in a nutshell. Like I said, I'd really hope to have some clips ready that I could show you, but due to you know, computer issues. Namely, it's, it sucks and it would take forever to render that. I'm going to have to do the vlog first and render it. Then I will render that. Then I'll try and throw those clips in tomorrow. Try. My throat was really sore last night. I'm still really sore bodily today. But it was a good time. 
and I promise you I will get those clips on there tomorrow whether you want them or not we'll try to get back into the getting close to doing some adventurous stuff this Pokemon go craze is getting out of hand I see people walking around with their phones and even in the neighborhood they're just walking around with their phones staring at it it's weird I don't think I've ever seen a game takeover like this before in my life. Ever. Anyway, that's all for now. So I'm going to say peace. Rock on. See you tomorrow.